everybody. We're going to start with the basket. I have the basket and I do have my shrink bag. They do have these at the Dollar Tree. I order mine off of Amazon because I buy a big pack. You know I'm always doing little projects and stuff so they come in handy. What we are going to do for the basket, I like to measure the stuff that I'm going to put in there. And if I put just the grass in here, when I put the product, it'll fall down to the bottom. And I don't want that to happen. So I get some of this paper. I mean, this is pretty, you can use any kind of paper. So I get some of that paper and I get some grass. And I'm going to use half of this grass, or just a portion of it, to go on the bottom. So we can try to hide the paper. Separate it like that. And then I start to shove the paper in there. And this is going to give us the foundation for the products. And then in the front, here, you can see some of the paper. I just bring up the grass from the bottom to cover it up. And I just do it for the front part. And we'll fix that up a little bit better as we go along. Okay, I hope this is a good view for y'all. Now we add the rest of our grass. I used about a half of this bag and just fluff it up nice and then I tuck some of it into the sides to cover up that paper. Mainly in the front. You don't want to see that paper. And there we go, just like that. And then you start getting your products, which I have all over here. And I start placing them. We're going to put the taller ones in the back. The heavier ones and the taller ones here in the back. And see how they don't fall to the bottom? Presentation is going to be going up like this. Okay, and then I have my little flip-flops, which I'll probably place right here. And I'll tuck them a little bit. Okay, and the next tall item we have is this book. And if these don't stay up, what I do is I get a piece of double-sided tape and I just put a piece right there and put them together and nobody will know. And then I get my body wash here, which is right in the center. You can still pretty much see everything. And bring your items to the front so you know what you have. And then this is the second biggest. Look at how cute that looks already. Okay, and then we have our loofah. I like to hide the tags in the back like this. Look at how cute that's going to look. And then, oops backwards make sure everything is facing upward and then this last one will go right there just like that look at that it fit perfectly just enough items okay now let's count this and see how much we've spent for this already so we have the basket that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and the grass which I already had so uh, an average of about ten dollars to make this beautiful basket if you go to Bath and Body Works a basket like this is going to run you $45, hands down for sure. Okay, so everything seems to be staying pretty nicely there. If you want to rearrange it, you can at this point. I think this looks pretty good and it's staying pretty nicely. I am going to use my ribbon. I'm going to cut off one of the little strands of the ribbon. Nobody will miss it. And we're going to get our bag. I'm going to move this back. We're going to open our bag. our basket and then just bring it up I'm gonna turn the basket around and the front paper I hope you can see this I'm gonna pull it back okay and I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna pull the two back front and back together I hope that makes sense okay because I want all my products to be seen in the front and then I'll start to gather the rest here in the center. Okay, now we'll turn it around and see where we're at. You see how you can see everything? Just get our ribbon that we cut, a strand here, and tie a knot. And this will be covered when we put the, the main bow on it. See how pretty that looks? You can see everything. 
Okay, if something moves, now is the time to fix it. I think everything stayed pretty good here. Okay, now I'm gonna get my heat gun, and this is the heat gun that I use, the CalHawk electrical heating gun. It's quite large, but I'm always doing projects when I've had this for a few years, and I really enjoy it. So we're gonna heat this up and shrink it, and then we'll add our bowl. Okay, and there we are. Now I'm just gonna poop this up. And look at how pretty that is, guys. I hope you can see it. The light in here, it's not the greatest. And now we just add our bow. And these are peel and stick bows. I'm gonna set this off to the side so that we can see the product from the front. Look at how cute. And then you just fix your bow, straighten out your little strands. Look at how adorable that is. Well, at least I think it is. Okay, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just like to give you all ideas on how to make a gift for Mother's Day, reasonably priced from the Dollar Tree. Now, remember, it's not about the amount of money you spend. It's about spending time with people, I think. But this is just a, a cute touch to go along with that time that we spend with our people. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.